I'm hoping to get into the, the Peace Corps. I'm in their application process right now. I was nominated in December and just recently finished my legal background check. My career plan is to work for the United Nations. Um, I really want to focus on humanitarian work. I think international studies is a great major to, to consider even because it allows you to op open up your mind and open up your possibilities into so many different career paths. My international experience was living and working in Poitiers, France for about four months. I, I had the opportunity while living in France to visit the Netherlands as well as Switzerland, Italy and Barcelona, Spain. I'm planning on spending the next academic year at the University of Puerto Rico, um, Rio Piedras, in order to gain fluency and work on my Spanish skills. I would like to use my cultural experience and my international experiences in order to find ways to really integrate myself and get into working with my community to make my community a better place. I really want to do research and teaching at the university level and I would love to have an international aspect to it of kind of just traveling and research and teaching and applied research for international development especially with sustainable agriculture. I think it's just incredibly invaluable to have international experiences. I think especially with just the, the perception of the world and the perception of who you are as a citizen to your country is um, really affected by international travels. I just found out I got nominated for the Peace Corps, so I'm kind of going through that whole phase. Um, but hopefully within a few months I'll have a specific country and departure date and hoping to go back to Latin America through the Peace Corps and then be able to use the, my travel experiences there to give me some of the confidence about traveling and being there on my own and then also a lot of the language skills there I think will be really helpful. But I'm interested in going back to school though after I finish uh, my service abroad, um, probably majoring in a related field international studies or international development um, and hopefully getting into nonprofit work and something that would allow me to uh, to travel while also doing the type of the work that Peace Corps does. I hope to get into the field of international human rights. Um, I'm hoping Peace Corps experience will help me with this and give me practical skills um, as well as the academic skills I currently am acquiring. Um, and I really want to, as corny as it sounds, make the world a better place. I want to help individuals and empower them to have the opportunities that I've had in my life. I think international experiences hold incredible value. Um, they not only teach you about the world, about other places and other cultures, other traditions, but also about yourself because it's only by experiencing something different that you can truly find who you yourself are. Well, I was able to go Lewis and Clark's India Study Abroad program and that was more of a general culture program so we studied Indian politics and history and religion. I've been really focused on transnational justice issues, so more specifically transnational um, sex trafficking. So I'm hoping to um, be a part of some sort of crime research organization or law enforcement um, bureau that will allow me to work in the field with prevention but also research. International travel took many forms, um, tourism, volunteering, um, kind of project management with Engineers Without Borders, um, and then just some vagabonding, for lack of a better word. Receiving the scholarship is empowering because someone's giving you some sort of recognition, so it, it means that you're probably doing something right in some way or another. Um, by right, I don't mean that there's necessarily a wrong way to do it and that there's one right way to do it, but it means that whatever course I'm taking um, has a future. This scholarship from the Oregon Consular Corp was uh, phenomenal. It was my first scholarship I've ever received, so I was very excited and it definitely helped pay for my tuition. And I thank them very much. I'm very thankful to the Oregon Consular Corps for giving me this opportunity to be able to really delve into this, this study, these studies and delve into this opportunity of going to Puerto Rico.
The scholarship has, has meant a lot. It's um, actually going to give me the opportunity this summer to get a TEFL certificate. That's a Teaching English as a Foreign Language certificate, um, which I'll get here in Portland um, and then be able to use that not only for when I'm in the Peace Corps and be more successful in teaching English, but also if I wanted to continue teaching English beyond the Peace Corps, then it'll be something that I can continue to use. This scholarship has been an incredible honor. Um, I feel very validated in that I'm doing good work and it also has opened up the possibility of interning abroad in Northern Ireland this summer um, where I might have the opportunity to research the conflict and how the sectarianism has affected the people there. The more personal aspect of the scholarship is very, really validating to have support for efforts, especially in a justice focus that I have where associations with law enforcement in international relations discourse is typically looked at in a negative way, but See, getting support um, for law enforcement as a mechanism that's human rights enhancing is extremely valuable for me. The financial support is, is incredible and that's really what's going to make my trip to Costa Rica possible this summer. But I think more than that is just the fact that there's someone that believes in you, in what you're doing.